Extraction shooters like Tarkov. Yeah, that sounds right. Because, um, again, something will, will be coming up in a second. Actually, it's right here. It's Hyenas chat. Um, have you never heard of Hyenas? Well, neither has anybody else. Let's take a look at the trailer. I'm going to subject you to two minutes of misery. This is not a parody. This is produced by Sega and by Creative Assembly, who made Aliens, a very good game, Alien Isolation, a very good game, somehow came up with this shit many years later. Let's watch. Flash screen where it says join the pack. Is this not it? Is it the other one? Um, it was very funny because if you position your mouse correctly, you could uh, empty out the P and then would just say join the ack, which is great. Uh, okay, so that looks terrible. If you're only listening and you're just listening to a really shitty techno rendition of classical music that everyone's heard a million times before. It was a sort of a hero shooter. I think it was supposed to be like an escape from Tarkov 2 where the gist is that you're put into a battleground with a team, but it's like a hero shooter team. And so it's like escape from Tarkov meets Overwatch where you've got like hero shooters or, or um, Apex Legends more like it. And you go in and you try to extract the Sonic the Hedgehog dog. That's not a joke. There was a Sonic the Hedgehog dog that was like the, the loot. And then you get out of there and... The Creative Assembly's Twitter team put out amazing, awesome tweets like, stick it to those billionaire fucks or billionaire bastards. So this was an anti-capitalist Robin Hood game where you're a heckin' brown POC with awesome uh, akimbo uh, scorpion SMGs and you're kicking white men in the face and floating around and stealing Sonic the Hedgehog from those capitalist bastards. Um, that's what they're going for. If you're wondering what the release date of this game is, it was uh, never because they've just canceled it. It was, uh, from what I understand, and people have disputed this number, but it was apparently a $1 billion project. It took them five years to develop. And then the closed beta was so disastrous that Sega said, no more. I will not suffer the embarrassment of publishing this game. It will never go live. You're all fired. And so um, there have been massive layoffs already. A creative assembly is probably dead in the water and will be folded into something else. Uh, but it's gone and it will never come out. It has been properly aborted. One billion dollars potentially uh, washed down the drain. Um, and uh, there is a conspiracy theory that this, the timing of this announcement uh, coincides with timing of another very serious announcement. BlackRock is folding their ESG index. ESG, ESG is the Environmental Social Good Index uh, for supporting businesses that are woke, basically, from one of the most important financial institutions in the United States. 
uh, there has been so much pushback against ESG, they're folding it, but what that really means is they're probably going to rebrand it as some other shit that doesn't have such a toxic public image. Um, but, but in the meantime, coincidentally, ESG is going down, and uh, that is the exact second that Sega has uh, uh, announced that Hyenas will not be coming out. So I guess whatever happened with ESG maybe have had some impact on if Sega solved the financial viability of launching a game. Uh, fully committing to launching this game and putting in, you know, however many tens of millions of dollars required to advertise it and distribute disc if they still do that and that kind of shit. So, fascinating. Um, there's more to this a little bit. I want to show you the character designs. There is one who is literally just a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. Commander Wright is like a brown girl. The descriptions of all these are terrible. You can read them at your own leisure. Uh, they're just the, the worst character designs I've ever seen. Um, however, special attention will be paid to Galaxia. Galaxia is a straight up tranny. It's not like a maybe questionable kind of tranny. It is literally a tranny. Uh, let's read her backstory. Uh, named Galaxia, age 30. Galaxia worked hard to find her true voice, only for her career to take an ass over heels tumble when the crack interrupted her big break by devastating Earth. By the way, someone pointed out that there's a weird thing where there's an event called the crack, and then the enemy organization is called the tanked. So I don't know what's going on with the, like, the anal fixation with the shit, but, uh, maybe it's just a uh, harbinger of the fact that it's a shit game that brings it in. <clears throat> uh, let's read. Uh, after losing her shot at fame, Galaxia realized that all her hardships on Earth were training for her own superhero origin story. From the ashes emerge Cosmic Hyena from the fabulous Galaxy of Drag who slays all, whether it's by using her deflecting ability or by her throwing shade. Galaxia is the epitome of hard work and determination. She makes everything look effortless, but all she has achieved through sheer, sheer willpower, which is just like a Mary Sue thing. So she's an, a hard worker, but everything she does is effortless, and she manages to accomplish what she does through sheer willpower. So not by learning, not by doing anything, but just by like really committing to it like like a uh, ray skywalker or whatever the fuck as a young gay boy sherman pimblebrook with the name sherman pimblebrook galaxia didn't stand a fucking chance that's like naming your child to be molested uh uh was a star-shaped puzzle piece in a world of square holes until he visited a drag show and a queen was born so literally they're trying to write the backstory of a drag queen a superhero in their game and they can't find a way of pipelining him from young boy to drag queen superhero without having him get molested at a drag queen story hour really amazing um Many years of his out-of-this-world costumes and show-stopping tunes followed as Galaxia and her band uh, toured and built a reputation as a must-see ticket, slowly winning over town after town. But it was only when the crack ruined Galaxia's chance at stardom that the final transformation took place. Each setback had added another layer to her armor, and as Galaxia dusted... As Galaxia... That's a typo. That's some typo in the official bio. And as Galaxia dusted, uh, recovered, dusted and or recovered from her lowest point, she realized nothing else could hurt her. Now she is one of the toughest hyenas on the taint. See, that's not a joke. It's called the taint and the crack. Using that strength to fiercely protect her crew and the others, the other outsiders on the taint. So, one billion dollars chat to write about the crack and the tanked and the tranny okay it's just uh just un unfathomable shit imagine that some like when it was ready for launch and the player the the poor player counts came in the project manager who had thus far managed to hide the failure of this project 
could no longer contain the the failure and reported it to and said, okay, we know we spent a billion dollars in five years on this. I know that the pushback was really bad. And I know that everyone uh, in upper management is really shitty uh, about it already. Um, but we just did the closed beta and uh, it peaked at like 2000 players on the first day. And now it's out down to about 400 peak uh, at the end of the month. So we've retained like not even a quarter of the players and the guy, the old crusty guy who is the top bean counter for this game said, okay, I'll take a look at it. And he gets up from his chair. He walks down to a development like station. He boots up this game and plays it for like 10 seconds and looks at the bio and says, this can never be released. I want every copy of this destroyed. I want the source code deleted. I want the hard drives that the source code was on magnetized and thrown into different dumpsters across the world. I never want to hear about hyenas ever again. And thus it was decommissioned in, to in total. And what's, um, I was going to say something. It reminds me a lot. Uh, this is what I was going to say. When I first saw the trailer for the first time, which was after the announcement that I had failed came out, I looked at it and I thought of another game. And I don't know, a lot of people thought about this too. There's another game called Brink. And I, who, who developed fucking Brink? Brink. Brink game. Brink the game. Developed by Splash Damage and published by Bethesda. Really? Um, Bethesda was a video, or Brink was a video game, and it was this weird thing where you're like these trash people living on like a trash island, like the entire world has flooded due to global warming, and, um, you're on like an island of like, like an actual trash island floating in the water, and there's like criminals and enforcers. And it's it's a parkour game where like movement is like fast paced shooting, flowing movement and shooting is like really emphasized. So it's the exact opposite where it's like Counter Strike and you have to like constantly like creep around and then stop moving. And you gotta like do the thing where you AD to like get your velocity to zero so you can actually fucking shoot your gun and actually have it fucking hit where you're aiming at instead of flying all over the fucking place like a piece of shit because it's a fucking shit game. Um, it's supposed to be like you can walk and run and jump up and down and climb shit and dash through stuff and, and so in shoot and it's supposed to be like that. Um, it was extremely unsuccessful and in a funny parallel, not only does the, the graphics look the same because it's like this really hideous like trash, trash core, garbage core look that they're going for. Um, and the way that it kind of looks like the Borderlands but not so stylistic. It also, when Brink was coming out, the guy that was the developer said that this was going to be a Team Fortress 2 killer. It was going to end Team Fortress 2's dominance on the shooter market at that time, which everyone took as like a like a bizarre statement. Like, how fucking cocky are you to think that you're going to overthrow Team Fortress 2 with your shitty generic parkour game? And then when this hyena shit is coming out, they dubbed it the Overwatch killer. And what's really funny is that when Overwatch, at the time that this was being developed, when Overwatch was already on decline, like it had already been usurped by Apex Legends and um, v Vanguard? Valorant is what it's called, Valorant. Um, so it's like Overwatch was already dead, and they said, no, they're going to kill it, and it didn't even get released. So here's the thing. If you're going to develop a multi-million dollar video game uh, as a major publisher, don't dub your game before release the X killer because whatever the fuck you're, you're that kind of audacity is always going to slap you in the fucking face. So I don't, I really don't know. It's really funny to see all this hubris come crashing down. Though. It's pretty, pretty, um, pretty gratifying. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC. Remember to like and subscribe.